Okay, so today um, we're gonna show you how to make a nice circuit to light some LEDs. These are 12 volt um, LEDs, an LED strip I got off Amazon. I'll post all these parts uh, in the description. Uh, it says it can take up to 18 volts, but it really these LEDs do not like to be run at 18 volts here. Well, I mean, they're stepped down with this resistor here, but anyhow, the, the input voltage here should really be 12 volts. They run nice and cool and, and reach pretty close to peak brightness at 12 volts. So the goal of this will be to keep a nice 12 volts on this, the, regardless of the input voltage, okay, DC or AC, either polarity as well. And then um, also to eliminate flicker or uh, light dropouts if the connection isn't perfect, okay? So we're gonna go through this step by step. So I'm gonna, I have this hooked up to a little Bachman power transformer. Okay, this is DC hookup right now. So it can go negative uh, polarity and positive for um, DC right here. So if we hook this up, okay, straight the LED straight to this DC power source, okay? And you can see it will only light up one direction because LEDs or any diode, all right, will only allow current to pass through in, in one direction, okay? So that's what's happening here. And if we hook up my, let's hook this up. Okay, I've hooked up my multimeter here and you'll see as the LED lights, the voltage increases to, let's see, about 17 volts here. And then the other direction, it's 17 or 18 volts in the other polarity and the lights don't light up. And you'll see the intensity, of course, of the lights maybe go up and up and up until, you know, the voltage stops increasing. All right, so we don't want the intensity to change with voltage fluctuations and we don't want it to not light up in one polarity, all right? So if I had AC voltage, right, it would be going at around 60 hertz this way. And we want that LED to stay on, all right? So the goal of this will be to fix all those issues. Uh, with simple parts off of Amazon that uh, aren't expensive, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to rectify the output voltage, all right? So this is a little full bridge rectifier from Amazon with a uh, a capacitor here. Uh, I think it's a thousand microfarad capacitor. Okay, that'll help smooth the power output as well. So it'll help it from from uh, dimming when the voltage drops a little bit. Okay. Uh, so what we need to do here is put in the AC end. So see, there is an AC. That's your input side, and then DC. Okay which will be your output. This is the, the DC side here. Okay, so we'll take the AC side and the, and the positive and minus uh, negative does not really matter on the AC side, okay? Because it's gonna be able to take either polarity and rectify it. So give me a second to plug this in. Okay, so I have this plugged in and what I'm gonna do on this breadboard here is on the other end, I'm gonna rectify the other power end here. Okay, so this side, it does matter what you plug into the um, positive and ground terminal, okay? This has a little light to show you that it's powered up. You can see that light come on now that I've powered it. All right, so if we, um, if we probe the output of that now, we're gonna see the voltage here it's gonna go from, well, it's gonna, it, it, this this steps up the voltage a little bit, okay? So we'll have to deal with that next, but you see the voltage is positive regardless of which way the input polarity is, the output is always the same direction, okay? So now it's rectified. So if we plug in the LEDs, of course, what do you expect to see? You expect to see them light regardless of which direction the current is flowing from the power supply. So here we go, here's our LEDs and now they're lit when I turn the power supply in either polarity. So that's good. 
and they don't dim quite as much, right? So now I'm probably really overvolting these, so I should be a little careful. So they don't dim as much. And why is that? That's because of this capacitor here. Whoops, the capacitor here. Okay. So these are now rectified, but that's not enough. Okay. So we need to clamp the voltage of this system. Okay. So this, this LED could get destroyed by overvolting it. And also we'd like to add a little more capacitance to our circuits to keep the LEDs from dimming when the, the voltage drops to zero for short periods of time. Okay, so what do we what do we add next? Um, I'm gonna add a voltage regulator. Now there's lots of different types of voltage regulators. I'm choosing to use this little buck converter, okay? Basically a switch mode power supply. So it'll take in, uh, on this side, it'll take in some higher voltage here, okay? and it will step it down to a constant voltage here. So this voltage will be able to fluctuate on the input. Uh, now it's a DC to DC, right? So that's why we need this guy. Um, so we'll take whatever voltage comes in here and the goal is to step it down to 12 volts here, okay? And because this is a switch mode power supply, it runs it runs very cool, all right? That's a, that's a bonus to it. it its output voltage can be adjusted here by this little pot. All right, so that's really helpful. If you want, say you want these LEDs not to run at 12 volts and run kind of dim, all right? You want a dim, mm, I don't know, a dim building, a dim train car, whatever you're putting these into, uh, you can adjust that, okay? There has to be obviously a little bit more input voltage here than your output voltage to maintain, you know, to regulate that at your output voltage. So I already, I already set this one to 12 volts. So we'll get this hooked up and I'll show you, you know, what you'd expect at that point. All right, so what do we expect to see? Hopefully, oh, look at that. Constant 12 volts coming out of here and I can just play with this voltage. And even if I set it to off, Look how long it maintains that 12 volts, holy moly. There's a good capacitance in here. It took quite a while to drop. So this can take pretty big uh, losses of, of power and keep those LEDs lit. So let's plug the LEDs in and see what it looks like. So look at that, 12 volts. And you'll see, let me get this right here. You'll see the intensity stays exactly the same throughout the entire voltage range and even if we turn it off okay oh it dropped pretty fast that time probably because there's a load on it now there wasn't really a load so it was maintaining its voltage for quite a long time but if we turn it off okay it fades So that's, that's what I'm gonna use in my train cars here. And you could use this in all sorts of things that you wanna light with LEDs. And what's great about this is now that you have constant 12 volts here, you could use just some resistors, some uh, voltage splitters to, to get whatever voltage you need for lights, say like little LEDs. Like if you have some tiny little LED that needs three volts or less, make a voltage splitter with two resistors easy and you can you can get that regulated three volts out of the end of this circuit so you can do this with simpler parts but what you won't get is if you use a linear regulator here it'll run hot and you'll only get one output voltage right you won't be able to choose it with a regular linear regulator um rectifiers this is i mean this is close to as simple as they get you can probably get much smaller ones but i like to have this capacitor here right because i want for a train specifically, the connection isn't constant, so you want a little bit of um, capacitance to keep the power going when you've turned the voltage down to zero. Okay, so you, you might not need a capacitor rectifier here, uh, but usually they come with some sort of capacitor there. Um, and then, uh, so that's what I'm gonna do. My next video will be soldering this together into a circuit and uh, getting it fit into the top of the train car. So, <clears throat> thanks for watching. Uh, I hope, hope it was helpful, and I'll, li I'll list all these parts here. So we have the, um, 
you know, it's it's just some LEDs. I'll, I'll list these if you want to see them. Uh, full bridge rectifier and this buck converter, it's called. Switch mode power supply. And I'll, I'll link those below.